Hey car collectors, just want to give an update about a new cabinet that I got. This is the old cabinet. These are Ikea or Ikea if you ask a Swedish person. And uh, this cabinet, I had the two bottom shelves open for the cars, but uh, now I've encroached on the space of my 200 scale airplane collection and my planes are like, what are you doing? You're crowding our space. So back in uh, mid-December last year, I ordered this uh, acrylic cabinet and uh, I'm going to transfer all the cars over and talk about this one in a, in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back and put most of the cars into the display case on the right. That case is 90 by 90 centimeters and it's 10 centimeters deep and is made out of 5 millimeter thick acrylic. On the floor you got these two uh, cover pieces that are attached magnetically so they're really easy to take on and off. And uh, there are a couple of problems that came up with designing, well, with the execution of this. The first problem was the shelves weren't actually level or the base of this wasn't perpendicular to the back. So with the bubble level, I realized that the shelves are actually canted forward and the models want to actually roll out of the case. So if you look at the side here against the wall, excuse my poor wallpaper, the uh, thing is actually spaced with that wooden spacer back there. So the bottom is spaced further away than the top, trying to keep the shelves pointed, well, level or preferably the cars roll backwards. So these side pieces are mirrored acrylic and I think they're cut with a laser cutter. So if you spec one out, if I did this again, I would spec it so all these shelves have a one to two degree angle where the cars roll backwards instead of forwards. So when, because when you take the cover pieces off, the cars might just all roll out of the case. You will notice this LED is as part of the design consideration. The shelves have a groove cut out of them and the LED strip is running through that groove. And it's one LED strip that goes around the whole perimeter and then comes down to the bottom corner here where there's a switch to turn the thing on and off. Okay. You will notice the middle of this case, the cars are pretty dim. The LED is not reaching the middle. So if I were to do this again, I would probably also consider adding LEDs to the middle support strut here so you'd have more even lighting. This support strut is a tongue and groove. So the shells are all grooved into this thing. And the reason why, if you start putting a bunch of metal cars on this thing, you can even see the shells will flex from the weight, right? So I still want to have maximum visibility, so there's only one support strut. But uh, that's also why this case is made out of 5 millimeter acrylic, instead of most of the cheap ones that are made out of 3 millimeter acrylic. Okay. I'm not going to go into the price because it's custom made. Everyone's going to quote you different pricing but hopefully you can get some ideas and maybe spec something out a little better than this one. Okay, so let's talk about the cars that are in here. Take a look. They're basically arranged alphabetically by make and then the year where they first came out. So up top we got some uh, Alphas. TZ2, a Montreal, Milano or 75 T-Spark. RZ, I think that's a 147. Forget that sport wagon one. That's a TZ3, the yellow thing. 4C, a green light mini, a couple of Kyosho Astons. Down here we got those hypercar Bugattis. There's Citron below it. Some Chevys below these. Okay, Mini GT Bentley. Okay, we have one lone BMW and a Chevy there. So there's obviously room for growth here to come later. Here's my Ferraris, classic ones. Almost most of them are Kyosho, all this. This this uh convertible is a TLV. Okay, and then also that F40 is TLV. But I do think Kyosha did a great job as well. Okay, here's a lone Daihatsu above. A couple Dodges from Greenlight above. Okay, some F1 cars, Kyosha's from Ferrari. Okay, the newer Ferraris. This horrible green Ace Enzo with the paint job. There's a video on that one earlier on. Okay, sorry. I gotta take my hand off, but I'm trying to keep focus. Okay, so now we got some Fiats. I love this Fiat rally car. Below it, we got some Lancia rally cars from CMs. Some Fords rallies from CMs. Hondas, Lotus, Jaguars. Okay, my Lamborghini collection, mostly Kyosho's here. Love this LMO2, and I love that green Bravo. Okay. Keep the focus. 
a lot of light, so camera might be having a problem. I'm wearing a black outfit, so you don't see me in the reflection. I even have a black t-shirt and sunglasses draped, draped on my head there. Maseratis and Mitsubishis. An Eno 64 rally car there below. CMs, some Mazdas here. F1 cars by McLaren, and then the road cars. These are from the Hypercar collection. Okay, Mercedes below. Love this F1 car. All right, so Datsuns were rolled into the Nissans. A lot of Aoshimas, a lot of TLDs, a lot of Kyoshos. I love this uh, IDX concept car by TLV. All these Skylines. Skylines get their own row here. Actually, I think they get two rows because the modern ones are going to come below it. Okay, so some Paganis and below some Porsches. A Pontiac. Okay, so another reason I got the deep case is I have these Rolls Royces, like this limousine. It's very long, so I needed a deep case, but I can still see it at an angle, so that's good. Below some Shelbys. Suzuki, a Subaru, and the Red Bull Racing F1 car. In the very bottom, we got a few Toyotas, Konamis, and TLV, Aoshimas. That's a Spark at Le Mans car. And a Tyrell from Kyosho, and a couple of VWs from Kyosho and Greenlight. Okay, so that's my uh, majority of the collection. I still have the really expensive cars in their cases here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there because uh, if I drop those things, I'm going to cry. You know, so I might put them somewhere else. But the tall vehicles, they're going to be on this shelf here. 18 van and that Land Rover and stuff. Okay, so that's what we got. All right, talk to you later.